What's up, my love? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today, y'all, we are gonna be doing an updated everyday makeup routine. I love to update these by the season, as well as, you know, when I make some big changes to my everyday look. I do have some different techniques that I'm starting to use and bring more into my everyday routine, so I wanted to share them with you guys. This is our first, like, full everyday, full coverage routine of the year, so. Let's sit back and enjoy, sis. <laughs> Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, babe, let's do it. So I wanted to show you guys my full coverage everyday makeup routine, all of the products that I have been using recently and just kind of how I've been doing my face on a regular basis. I feel like I've definitely picked up some different techniques and some different things that I like to do with my face and with my skin when I'm going full coverage. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys because I think this is our first like everyday makeup routine of the year. Now we did do the minimal affordable, but that's not like my everyday go-to. So, but the product that I am using, y'all, this is my, in fact, let me zoom in a little bit, y'all. This is my Total Temptation Brow Definer, which is from Maybelline. And obviously it has like a little mini spoolie on the end, so I'm using this to blend it out. And then I'm going to use my Soft Matte Concealer from NARS, which you guys know I have been using on my brows a lot lately, and I love this, so this is definitely my go-to right now. Sometimes I'll mix chestnut and amand, but typically my go-to is amand. Last time I filmed in here, y'all, I definitely had more lighting. I had my big studio lights in here too, but I'm just filming with my ring light right now. And I'm hoping that it's good enough. <laughs> and also guys, this week I am going to be taking a break. <laughs> so you won't get another video until next Sunday. I know sis, I know, but there it's for a good reason, so. <laughs> I need to take a little break this week. So there won't be a video until next Sunday. So yeah, I love doing my brows like this, specifically with this concealer, because this concealer is so, so thick. And I love that, especially in today's climate. I know there's no mask over your brows, but I've been loving using products that are more long lasting, thicker on the face to not only have more full coverage, but also to last longer. So that's why I've been loving this concealer. We're just doing everything today because right now my everyday makeup routine doesn't really include eyeshadow. I'm just going in with my primer and this is my all-nighter primer from Urban Decay. Y'all know that all-nighter products from Urban Decay is a must when you are wanting things to last all day. So it's definitely one of my staples for my everyday makeup routine. But I have been loving doing stick foundations lately, y'all. So I am gonna go into a stick foundation. I'm going into the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish and my shade is peanut butter. But you guys do know that sometimes I do mix it with mocha. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my face and I'm going to mix them both together equally pretty much. But if I'm being honest, I really, really feel as though using a stick foundation, especially one that's nice and thick that has a little tug to it, is really, really good for wearing a mask. To me, personally, when a stick foundation dries down, it kind of stays in place more than a liquid foundation. I, I don't know. It could just be me, <laughs> but I don't feel like it's just me. I just really love how it's durable and it stays put underneath my mask. So it is something that I have been leaning towards and grabbing over a liquid foundation or a liquid type of product. And I also feel like applying stick foundation is a lot easier than liquid. It's a lot less messy. It's a very much friendly for on the go. And when you need to move fast, as y'all see how fast I'm moving right now, <laughs> I really love it for that reason. It's also really easy to build up. So if you're looking for like the most coverage as possible, it's easy just to keep putting on layer after layer after layer to get the full coverage look that you're going for. So I am going to go ahead and do my bronzing situation first. I'm going to go into my soul face and body bronzing balm. Y'all know I love this. So this has definitely still been a go-to of mine that I use to contour and kind of more like cream bronze prior to putting on powder. I love how we kind of low-key got a little natural light going on today because my window is shining <laughs> over here. But next Sunday's video is going to be all natural lighting, y'all. So 
I'm hoping that that footage turned out well. I did already film it. Let's hope that that does what we need it to do and we can really see, <laughs> see the footage. Yeah, I love how nice and bronzy this is, but also very soft on the skin. So it doesn't give us a super, super harsh type of a vibe. And I'm also using it for my nose as well. Before I go into my lighter concealer, I feel like this is gonna help us create more of a natural contour of the nose. As y'all know, I am a contour of the nose. So I like to do it underneath it, preferably, because y'all know, sometimes I just forget. So for concealer, um, for me, I feel like I have two options that I usually will reach for. One being the NARS Soft Matte because of the thicker formula and the durability of it, how it lasts throughout the day for me and doesn't move. And then also the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion as well. These obviously more wet, more of a liquid cream product versus these being more of a these are still cream. I would say this is more liquid, this is more cream. So what I'm actually gonna do is go into a Mond first and I'm gonna use that underneath the lighter um, Laura Mercier concealer. So I'm going in with a Mond first as like a base concealer. And then I'm gonna brighten up with the Laura Mercier and that shade is gonna be 4N, but y'all do know how I love to make sure that I am nice and bright. And that is what that shade is going to do for me. I'm gonna let go ahead and blend this out first, and then I'm gonna add that extra shade and let that sit for a moment to blend out. With this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion, it's always important to let this sit down, especially over something as thick as the Soft Matte because it helps it to kind of adjust to that <laughs> formula that you already put on. And I feel like this concealer in general performs better when it has set for a second. And I told y'all I'm trying to do better about that in 2021. In our last video of 2020, I let you guys know that I am trying to let my concealer sit a little bit longer so that I get the coverage that I want better. We're, we're trying to do that, so I'm gonna sit here for a moment and just keep from wanting to blend out <laughs> immediately. <laughs> because it does give a much more beautiful finish. I mean, kill some time and get my lips unchapped. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Are we ready, yeah. We're, we're kind of ready. I, that'll do. Y'all hear my mailman, he's so loud. I don't know what he talk, talk about on the phone, girl. He be all up in the tea. <laughs> it be some drama going on, y'all. Yeah, I feel like this is good. It's blending out how I want it to. Y'all know I've been doing better about blending my chin. <laughs> A few videos ago, I told y'all that um, y'all don't be looking out for me because my chin do not be blended, but she's looking pretty blended better now. I did go back into this bronzer shade the bronzing balm around my nose to make sure that's still there, but still wanting it to look more of a natural vibe there. Going around the lighter shade with my foundation brush, which is a stip more of a stipple foundation brush from Minted, and just making sure everything's nice and blended before I go into my powder. So before we move on, there is one more thing that I have been loving to do um, that I've done on my channel before, but I've kind of started to incorporate it into my everyday routine, and that's using cream products before I set. I have been loving this, just because I feel like it looks a lot more natural um, than putting on the powder afterwards. So this in particular is my Wonder Beauty On The Glow Blush, Blush and Illuminator. It's in Berry Whisper. And I'm gonna work this onto my cheeks to get like that rosy tone there. And then I'm gonna take my brush and kind of dust it around, blend it out, which obviously, if you don't wanna mess up your concealer, you can go into the brush on here and then add it to the cheeks with a br blush, with the brush, <laughs> which will be a lot easier than what I just did, cause you won't kind of swipe off what's under there, which I should not have done that, but I make mistakes too, y'all, so <laughs> don't mind me, just trying to fix it. So I say, y'all, I'm moving too fast sometimes, but. Typically, <laughs> I would go in with my brush on the product and then build it up. I'm also gonna go in with a like a cream highlighter. This one in particular is um, from Revlon. It is their Liquid Armor Glow Pot, and this was their Wonder Woman collection um, collaboration. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the tip of my nose and with my finger kind of like tap it in there and put it in the places where I do my highlighter. 
because I've just really been loving that glow from within type of look with those types of products. Of course, I'm gonna go into more <laughs> later, but <laughs> Um, I just love knowing that that's under there and it helps it to last longer, especially when you're doing your nose and your cupid's bow, you're gonna put on a mask. It'll help that color and that shade to stay longer, similar to putting a powder over a concealer or you know, priming the eye and then setting it, setting it with powder. Similar type of a vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and one thing that I have forgot about y'all that I just started doing more recently is setting with my Laura Mercier puff. And this is a game changer. If you've never tried it, you need to try it because it does give you a different type of finish on the under eye versus like using a beauty blender or a brush. So I'm making sure that I don't have any type of creases. I'm gonna take this and dip it into the powder, pat it on my hand, and then go on my under eye and set. They do have a smaller one of these, so you can use that as well to really get up in those creases. But I do love the finish that I get with this applicator, especially if you're going for something or wanting your makeup to last longer because of a mask or whatever the case may be. This is an amazing <laughs> way to get those products to stay because I feel like this puff kind of pushes the product into the skin a little bit better. So those of you who are dry, you might want to steer away from using this because it really mattifies you. But I do love it and I've used this before and I just forgot about it and wasn't using it. But it is a great way for those of us who definitely are a little bit more on the oilier side or like to really mattify using that powder. It's perfect. It's perfect for us, y'all. It's perfect for us. I just don't like to clean these. <laughs> I hate to clean them. I absolutely hate it. But with a fluffier brush, I am going into our medium deep and setting the whole face. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of a sculpt and let that kind of bake for a moment with the medium deep powder. But don't forget y'all, we are going for full coverage. So this is less of a, you know, beginner's <laughs> tutorial more of a let's cover it all up and get that real good snatch type of look then i'm just dust oh <coughs> girl too much powder <laughs> now i'm just dusting off the excess off of my nose Ugh. too soon maya too soon <laughs> with this brush. Then from there, I'm going into my bronzer. So I'm gonna use my Yacht Life bronzer, which for me still stands as my favorite of the moment. <laughs> so I'm going into this to bronze around the perimeter of my face and get everything nicely bronzed and sun-kissed. But just bringing that deeper vibe back into the face. Oh, it just got dark in here, hold up. There we go. What that was about. <laughs> this is what I get trying to use a combination of a ring light and the natural light. Obviously still reinforcing the nose with the bronzer, nothing new there. Now I'm taking the brush that I use for my medium deep powder and I'm dusting off that sculpt that I had. And it's giving us a nice, nice little sculpt underneath our bronzer and blush. And I'm also taking that powder and I'm going to set my smile lines because that's something that I have been forgetting to do. And especially today with the mask and everything, I need this to stay put as good as, as much as possible and as long as possible. Now, one thing I didn't pay enough attention to while I was doing my face was <laughs> putting concealer on my eyes. So I'm going into my Amand to go ahead and put it on my eyes and then I'm gonna blend it out. And this is not new. You guys know that I say, if you're not gonna put on eyeshadow to make sure that you have on concealer if you have on a full face of makeup because we need it all to blend and look cool. Cause I've definitely seen people who would do a full face of makeup and then they wouldn't hit their eye with no, no type of, no type of concealer. And for me, I just feel like that looks a little crazy. <laughs> but, um, I feel like, you know, it just kind of finishes off the look. Um, I'm gonna set it with a mix between my translucent and my medium deep powder with this brush. And that would just kind of make it flow with the face. It looks like the same skin that's all over the face makeup wise. It doesn't look like just bare skin on your eyes. So from there, y'all, I'm gonna pop on my lashes. Um, I'm gonna do a little mascara on the top lash line to prep for my lashes. And I'm going into these 
3D Faux Mink Lashes from Tati Lashes, and this is called Rich AF. And I love these lashes because they're thick and wispy, but they're short. And I feel like that's just so freaking cute. So obviously I'm also hitting my bottom lash line with a mascara. And the one I'm using today is my So Fierce Revlon Mascara, which I love because the wand is super skinny and y'all know I love like really small, like individual lashes. I don't like them to be clumpy at all. And I like them to be, oh, I messed up my face. Oh Lord. I like them to be nice and separated. <laughs> like an old school vibe. I love that. And those are our eyes. <laughs> so next we're gonna go into a highlighter. I am using my Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter and this is in metal. And I'm taking this gold one here on the end and we are going to brighten it up. Get our little blind and highlight popping. <laughs> Cause that's something that Maya needs in our everyday look. Y'all see how the highlight just takes it up a notch and just makes the look super like looks looking. Even though y'all know I do love like now the all matte look, but girl, sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta <laughs> brighten it up. I love me a good highlight. I am going to continue what I've been doing and not hit the cheeks with any type of highlighter. I've been loving just a more chill vibe. So I feel like you can even see like the natural highlight that's there. So I'm still not going to add that, but we are going to go into the lips. My go-to liner is my control liner from ColourPop. So I am going to continue to use this one. It's just like the perfect deep dark liner for the lips. And then I've been loving this lip gloss, which is from the Vanessa and Juvia's Place collection. Um, this is in Legit Nude. And ever since I wore it on the last video, y'all, I can't get enough. Like, do you see? Do you see this, girl? Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, that's so pretty and like luxurious and it blends beautifully with the liner. Mmm, girl. Yes. <laughs> now, of course, maybe it's not the best option when you're throwing on a mask, but this is definitely a go-to of mine now. So if you ain't got nothing from that collection, get this gloss, girl. It's cute, because it looks like it's even lighter in the tube, it's, and that's sometimes a little off-putting for those of us with deeper, darker skin tone, but it works out just Fine and beautifully, yeah. <laughs> so I am leaving this on because I got some stuff to do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. I'm gonna press it in with my sponge. Can y'all see like how using this kind of made us more smooth in the under eye? Do y'all see it? Is it just me? Am I the only one that sees it? Cause I see it and I love it. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I gotta make sure I continue to do that. So I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see the finished everyday look, which are all of my go-to products, my go-to vibes, sis, and we gonna wrap this video up. Okay, babes, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my updated everyday makeup routine. Y'all know I gotta sprinkle these in there for y'all here and there. I wanna keep y'all updated on how I'm beating my face on a regular basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought. Also, make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.